here at the Daphnia this morning. This is the 14th of February or St. Valentine's Day. And this is the one of the tanks of Daphnia. This is the fish tank version of it. And then I'll move over here to the, the tub. Lots of blooms there. They're doing quite well. I just fed them. That's why the water is somewhat green. Yeah, sorry for all the videos on the Daphne, but I think they're cool. They're just as cool as the fish. And be able to, that I can keep them going and. The fish absolutely love them, like I said, they're like candy to them. This is what the tank looks like with the blue lights on, I use at night. And, um... Not very many fish out till the lights come on. They'll come on here in a few, few minutes. I'll get some better shots of them. That's the Texas Holy Rock where most of the, at least the, the center area or territories fry are and medium sized fish. I guess they stay in the rock till they're about as big as that one there. I don't know if it's in focus or not. Till they're about maybe a half inch long and then they'll, they'll venture on into, into more outward territories. There's my SpongeBob stuff. I have my macro lens on here now, so it's everything is pretty darn looks pretty close. But I can at least have a better control over the focus of the you see here how the rocks are piled up on top of the plants the one of the Bichardi has decided that they wanted to dig a hole underneath the, the plant and uh, there's a fish and uh, so they've been digging underneath the plant and Putting the, putting the rocks on top of the plant, which hopefully won't kill it, but we'll see how that goes. The crusty crab, if you know SpongeBob. I think when I take all the fish, all the decorations out, though, I think I'm gonna take the crusty crab and stuff out because my daughter's not as interested in the fish tank as, it, as originally she was. So I think I'm just gonna turn it back in. The, it's still not gonna be a true uh, Lake Tanganyika tank because I. It did, they don't really have any plants in there, but I like, I really like plants, so I have a lot of rocks, as you can see, but, um, but I also have a lot of plants, which don't really exist in Lake Tanganyika, but, uh, 
I think I'm going to take the, the Spongebob um, figurines out. If I, if I find any more fish here, this is the one again. Go back over to the... Texas Holy Rock. Oh, there's the lights that just went on. I'm on my set, set on my timer. And, uh, see if the fish will come out in a few minutes. I'm, uh, I'm gonna feed them and then I'll, I'll get some, hopefully, some good shots of the, the fry, both here and on the left hand side. Here's the fry on the left hand side. They're just starting to come out with the light coming on. And they just put out some food so there still seems to be yeah, at least 30 of them. Somewhere I think between 30 and 50 of them. We'll see if that how long how many of them survive. Shots of the the ones around uh, the Texas Holy Rock in the middle of the tank. And you can see if you, and then right in the middle of this the screen, there's this the, the the small one, the very small ones. Like I said, there's only like six or seven of them. But that's uh, then there's a middle group. A fry, and then there's a slightly older group, I think, of which is the one in the center. I'm trying to get in focus right now, and that's one of the kind of the younger adolescents right there. And there's another one on the younger side, and then. bigger fish. I think that's the big guy. Yeah, that's the big one. That's the biggest one in the tank. over here like I said there seems to be quite a few and they just they they're surviving I thought they would be gone a lot of them by now but they I have had very low attrition rate so far so I must have my the water parameters are set pretty darn good um, for those of you who haven't uh, visited yet um, the forum there's called there's a site called cichlid forumscom and I have a number of uh, posts on there and pictures of the of the tank and um, also some, some discussions of the Daphnia. But look at all those fry! It's amazing. As people have said, they breed like rabbits. As long as you have the water conditions right, they breed pretty, 
pretty good. Such fun. Go back over here to the Holy Rock. I wish they'd stay still, it'd be a lot easier to keep them in focus. Okay, you got I, this is a, I use a Nikon D5100 right now, and I'm thinking about upgrading to a something with a bigger screen so I can do this type of stuff, or somehow use the viewfinder to focus because it's really hard to to get in focus with, especially with this macro lens but anytime you take video you have to use the viewfinder on the back uh, or the screen on the back versus the viewfinder which is a little bit harder but at least it's not using the automatic focus with the macro lens I can use I can do manual focus Okay, that's it. All the best and God bless.